Looking for an eye-catching new piercing to stop folks in their tracks? Why not try a Medusa? Hi, it's Riley with Body Art Forms. Let's get into it. First things first, what is a Medusa piercing? Simply put, it's a style of labret piercing centered above the top lip in that little divot between the nose and the lip. That divot is called the philtrum, so a Medusa piercing will often be called a philtrum piercing as well. When it comes to pain, lip piercings tend to be lower on the scale. That said, everyone's tolerance is different, and the philtrum might sting a little more or cause your eyes to water due to its proximity to your sinus nerves. The healing time will be roughly three to six months, though it will vary from person to person and could take longer if you experience complications. During this time, make sure to follow your piercer's aftercare instructions. Generally, you'll want to wash at least once a day with a saline spray on the outside of your mouth and an alcohol-free mouthwash on the inside. Make sure not to touch it and avoid bodies of water that could cause infections, such as the pool, the lake, or the beach. You may also need to avoid foods that could irritate your new piercing, such as anything overly salty, spicy, or acidic. Once healed, you're free to change your jewelry. Generally, philtrum piercings are about 16 gauge in size and you will be largely limited to labrettes. However, you can still achieve a wide variety of looks by changing out the labrettes in design. While less common, you can also stretch your philtrum. Just know that doing so may alter the look and shape of your lips after you've gone up enough sizes. Can you have both your philtrum and septum pierced? Of course! However, your ability to wear the jewelry and both piercings at the same time will depend on your jewelry and your anatomy. Make sure to talk to your piercer when getting pierced and mention if you have or plan to get both piercings and they can help find the right placement for you. As with any oral piercing, make sure to keep an eye on your teeth and gums. You're less likely to bite down on your philtrum jewelry like you are with other lip piercings, but it's still possible to experience gum or enamel damage from the jewelry pressing against your teeth or gums. If you see any erosion or damage occurring, remove your jewelry and talk with your piercer or medical professional immediately. And that's it. Thank you for watching. We hope that this was helpful. Please like and share this video and don't forget to follow us on all of our socials at Body Art Forms. Bye.